Howdy, folks, and welcome. I was going to say back, but we're starting Ahsoka. Uh, very excited about it. Uh, big fan of of all the stuff that she's been in. I, I saw Clone Wars, uh, Rebels, uh, uh, Tales of the Jedi, uh, Mandalorian, um, and Boba Fett. And she was in that. So um, I think that's everything <laughs> that she's been in. I mean, I think she's been in some comics and things too, but I haven't read those. But I've seen all the animated or or live action stuff. Very excited, but not as much for Ahsoka because I've seen her so much. But for the Rebels crew, the rest of the Rebels crew, I mean, my probably my favorite characters of Rebels because she wasn't a regular um, were definitely Sabine and Hera, and, and of course Chopper. Everybody's favorite is Chopper, but uh, the fact that we get to see some more of them in live action is really exciting to me. So uh, we get the two episode premiere. I'm going to release them as two separate uh, reactions. So. I don't really know what to expect. I mean, we saw the trailer together. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what time period. I mean, is this going to be post the last time we saw her in Book of Boba Fett? Or is it sometime before The Mandalorian? Um, I don't know. You know, because we've, we did see that character that she fought in Mandalorian. Is this before that fight or after? I think it's after, but... I think it's following in the timeline. In other words, I think that this is going to take place. This is my hunch. Going to take place at the same, you know, basically after the events of Book of Boba Fett is when she's picking up. So let's find out. And uh, Dave Filoni did come out and point out, I think it was Filoni, maybe it was Favreau, that the, um, you know, in the trailer, we thought that those lightsabers of the bad Jedi, we'll call them that for lack of a better word, they're not Jedi, the bad people, dark force users or bad force guys. Um, people were saying when they were red, I was saying they were orange. Some people were saying they were orange and, 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 it was either Filoni or Favreau, said, yeah, it's an off red. It wasn't, it, they intentionally did not pick the same red that, uh, you know, that Sith have. So I, I be interested to find out who they are. Huh. Oh my God. It's a standard. It's like, oh, wow. So this is like a Star Wars scroll, except it's not quite, you know, scrolling off into space, but it's basically a Star Wars scroll. This is cool. Sinister agents. That's what they are. Can I say, I love how they did this. Because there are a lot of people who didn't see the animated shows. Uh, maybe not even... No, if they're watching this, they probably saw Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. But they didn't see the animated shows, so they don't know who Thrawn is and so forth. Um, except for the reference in Mandalorian. I like this. Um, people who haven't seen the animated and don't want to see the animated, this is giving them a little bit of a background, but it's very reminiscent of all the Star Wars movies and how they do it. So I think that's pretty cool. Ooh, there's going to be people that are complaining about this former Jedi Knight thing. People are going to say she was never a Jedi Knight. You know, she she renounced the order. Well, yeah, but come on. For all intents and purposes, she meets all the criteria of a Jedi Knight, whether she was officially one or not. Morgan Elsbeth, that's the character from Mandalorian that she fought. So they're going to rescue her, so this looks like it takes place after Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, it can't be Jedi, right? Because they know the Jedi are gone. It's Jedi. Yeah, they're the last people you meet, apparently, according That's to the trailer. Meet in the hangar. We are no Jedi, right? You know, some might argue that you shouldn't watch the trailers because they'll spoil stuff like that. It, to me, I, I kind of love little spoilers because it teases me, gets me excited for the thing. So the fact that I know he's going to, that they're bad and that they're going to kill this guy and they're going to have that line of we are no Jedi or whatever. That doesn't ruin it for me. It just makes it ex I want to see it now. I'm really excited. They're not Sith either. Why didn't they close the door? Not that it would have stopped him for long, but, you know. Oh, yeah. Part one, Master and Apprentice. We saw this in the trailer too. Ahsoka comes in, cuts a hole in the ground, and drops into this whatever this is. We don't know what this is though. Temple, ruined temple, something else. Jedi or Sith? It's a really, really good set design. There's got to be some practical there, but also a lot of, uh, you know, what used to they used to do with uh, more practical means, but uh, probably CGI a bit here. But very, very cool. I love the, the detail of the built up sand or dirt. Just seems real, you know, like it's been here for a long time. And the worn edges, just really good design. I like it. Somebody's going to translate that. 
How did she know? <laughs> How did she know that it wasn't that big of a drop? I guess she wouldn't. She wouldn't care, right? She's a very powerful force user, so if it turned out to be a larger drop than that, she could she could save herself. So I guess it doesn't matter. It's a cool entrance, though. Some people were saying this is like the sister, right? In Clone Wars, right? In Clone Wars, they met the sister, the brother, and the father that represented the light, the dark, and the in between, the balance of the Force. Some people were saying this is the sister. Okay, and that I guess looks like another female, though. I was gonna say that could be the brother, but it looks like another female. Yeah, it's just a bunch of females. So I don't think it's the sister. It's some order. Or temple? Maybe it's the witches? No, they don't they don't have big temples like this, ornate temples, right? Seeing some real vibes of Indiana Jones here. The good Indiana Jones. Yeah, so each one of these gets angled to a particular female, particular ball that they're holding. Cool. This is kinda long and drawn out, but I kinda like it too, because it's kinda cool seeing all the intricacies of this and how uh, crafty they were to make this thing. Is this the holy hand grenade of Antioch? <laughs> Somebody else is there. Was oh, is this where the fight happens? Where she fights those two, that robot and their trooper? We can't make the droid and uh, the Inquisitor type. Is this where she fights them? Yep. At least the droid. She definitely sensed the one behind her, so she knows they're all there. There's five, wow. Oh, I thought she took those other guys out. Oh no, self-destruct protocol. I thought she took the other ones out when she dropped them down, but she just dropped them down to get them out of the way. Cool. Wow, those are powerful. The jailbreak. Isn't this the ship that in Rebels, Hera and the, the crew met up with this shipbuilder who had this cool new ship and he didn't want to test it, so Hera took it out to test it and it became one of their ships. Isn't this, this the same ship? There she is. I like how she told uh, Haiyang to Yang, Haiyang to run the lightsabers because if I recall, he, he knows... Every lightsaber that was ever built by the Jedi, and even further back, I mean, before the Jedi already even existed, lightsabers were built. I don't know if he knows, like, all the Sith lightsabers, and lightsabers built, you know, obviously outside of his knowledge, like when Luke build, built his own, uh, for instance, or, for that matter, um, people from Rebels, whose name, uh, blah, 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 not Kanan, the other one, <laughs> Ezra. Ezra made his, made two of them. Ron. Yeah, Hera has a personal connection. She was uh, captured and interrogated by Thrawn. Come on. I hope so. Yeah. You know who could help you with this? Sabine! For Ezra. True. She would do it if there was a chance she could get Ezra back. Hey, there he is. He voiced the governor in, uh, in Rebels, too. Awesome. There's Sabine Wren. Who is not going to be there. <laughs> Sabine Wren. She's not much of a public speaking person. You got no interest in your thing. As, with Sabine being one of my favorite characters, I'm so glad that those who haven't seen the animated shows are going to get an introduction to her in the series. It's, that's awesome. Repeat, Commander Ren, do you copy? What do you want, Warder? Stand down, Commander. <laughs> of the droid's reaction. I'm afraid, sir, we were unable to, <laughs> to procure her, to bring her back. Ah. Oh, she's made her home in the same tower. It's a radio tower, right? Or something? that um, Ezra lived in or crashed in at the beginning. He definitely made a really cool Loth Lothcat that uh, um, is acting just like a real cat, like a human or earth cat or human cat, earth cat, what it would do. Oh, there's your Mandalorian helmet. Of course, I just noticed that. 
She seems to have put it away since Ezra went away. It's a shame because her parents are still alive. Or were. And her brother, Tristan's still alive, right? Well, she has family. I don't know why she... I mean, Ezra was her family, right? And then uh, the crew were her family. Like, I kind of get it, but I also don't. Why deny that part of her life? Ah. Uh, what was this place? Good question. I mean, oh. The night, night sister. Said. Yeah. Night sister. She is a night sister. There was speculation she might have been. And you're not the only one. There's this, <laughs> that is a cute reference. There's this game called Jedi Survivor. And one of your sisters is there too. But that sister chose to ally herself with the light side. Elizabeth here is uh, lining herself with the dark side. The whole apprentice thing. I thought in the trailer, Sabine was saying it kind of sarcastically. But are they going to make Sabine force sensitive? Because she didn't seem to be. She could have been, I guess. But I, I took it as either her being sarcastic about calling uh, Ahsoka a master or referring to sword training, you know, lightsaber training. Because she has... Ezra's lightsaber still. Um, and maybe that's what I thought it was. Maybe it is. I don't know. Because they're not saying it's a Jedi apprentice or a Force apprentice. Oh, no. She recognizes that ship. I'll be in my bunk. That would get her. Memories of being on this ship, I take it. Yeah. There's a stronghold for Arcana is a great name for... A home planet of the witches. I go where I'm needed. Not always. Ooh. Never Some bad blood there. Yes, she is fort sensitive. Questions answered. Ahsoka did notice that she had sensitivity and an aptitude for being a Jedi and started training her. The map stays here. Okay. Somehow I don't believe her. <laughs> and she's gone. Presumably with the map. It's a ball. Is he going to play with it? They're sniffing it at least. Yes, he did. I like how they dropped that in too. For people, again, who didn't see the animated shows. They wouldn't know that she was Anakin's apprentice. So they dropped that in. So now, now new folks who didn't really know Ahsoka's backstory, they know. She's figured something out. Three buttons or three marks. I find it weird that Ahsoka, who figured out how to turn those things to align with the, the three ladies, couldn't figure out to turn pieces of the ball. I think I'm going on a trip. Who's going to feed the cat? She is a Mandalorian, after all. You got a jetpack. Come on. She does. Sabine does not have to fight with a lightsaber. I mean, she was trained. Kanan trained her with the dark saber. And I presume Ahsoka's been training her with Ezra's lightsaber, which is what that is. Don't walk into her trap. She's holding her own with a lightsaber, but I, I have the feeling that if this apprentice, I forgot her name, uses the force itself, that I don't know that Sabine has that kind of control or, or access to it. You're getting too aggressive, Sabine. Ow! Of course, we know in the news canon, that doesn't kill people, apparently. They're going to end the first part there. Oh my goodness, they are. Yeah. He did pass away. Sad. I wonder if he was going to be... <clears throat> I, 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 I have a feeling, because they've, they've charged Dave Filoni, and I guess John Favreau is kind of a team, to make an actual motion picture, Star Wars motion picture, last, last, last I heard. And I believe it's the one that where he's going to bring all of the, we'll call it the Mando universe, the Mandalorian universe characters together, which would include Sabine and Ahsoka and Hera and all of those people, uh, as long as everybody you've met in, uh, in Mandalorian and, and Book of Boba Fett. <clears throat> I wonder if Rape was originally going to be part of that. In other words, his character survives. Although, 
I could easily also see them having his character be killed off, but his apprentice survive and move forward. Because they kind of like that whole dark apprentice survives and continues on sort of thing. Uh, so, Darth Maul, Maul, anybody? So, this was great. I that didn't, I didn't expect her to be stabbed, uh, but like I said, they've established now <laughs> that you can be stabbed through your torso with a lightsaber as long as it doesn't go through your heart or something, and you survive. Um, they've had a couple of characters do that now, so obviously she survives. I mean, they're not going to kill off Sabine in the first episode, so. We've already seen in the trailer, right? She's in the ship. She's flying around. She seemed perfectly fine, so she gets completely healed, apparently. Uh, it must have damaged some internal stuff, though, so ouch, ouch, ouch. But they have ways to regenerate and all that stuff. I get it. I get it. Very, very cool. So there's big takeaways from this. Um, Ahsoka, clearly from what they were saying, detected, sensed that Sabine was force sensitive that she could have become a Jedi. Maybe if she was back in the day, if she was taken at an early age and raised as a Jedi, she could have done it, uh, which is really cool. She shares kind of that in common in a sense with uh, Grogu then Mandalorian with uh, Jedi potential, uh, which I think is kind of cool. They make a good little team. That would be great. Especially if they do go forward to some big movie where we have Grogu and Sabine together. That would be awesome. Um, but, Bad blood. I think it was, like she said, stubborn as ever. I think it was just Sabine just not wanting to continue knowing that there was no hope to find Ezra because she just thought Ezra was gone. And I always got the impression in the video recording, he called her like, you know, you're like a sister to me. And she kind of smirked um, because I always kind of got the impression at the end of Rebels, not necessarily beginning, but towards the end of Rebels in season four, that there was kind of a little bit of a interest there. She, he had always, Ezra had always had an interest in her at the beginning. Um, him calling her like a sister at the end was kind of weird because, you know, well, I guess he kind of decided, well, you are like my sister. You, you know, nothing else is going to happen. But in the beginning, he's kind of hitting on her. So, um, but she definitely wants to find him, uh, regardless whether she thinks of him as a brother or she does feel something more romantic you know, brewing. Uh, she wants him back. So uh, realizing that she has a map now and could go try to find where, where Thrawn is, which would probably be at least a clue to where Ezra is, if Ezra's still alive. And she can't give up hope now that she has another way of finding, potentially finding him. That'll get her going, right? Um, so all we have to do now is get her patched up. <laughs> uh, she, I wonder if she has a good enough memory to know where she saw in the map. If so, then she knows where to take Ahsoka um, and to confront the others, because the others will be going there too now, because she actually unlocked the map for them, uh, which sucks in a way, but yeah, whatever. We have to have that conflict, right? That has to happen for this to be a great show. I'm curious. Um, that, that was a great first episode. Obviously, they couldn't leave it there, so that's why they're doing the second episode this this week as well. Um, I'm kind of curious if they're how far they're going to get in this episode, uh, as far as uh, you know, finding where the map goes, or are they going to spend most of the episode getting there and then, you know, the in, in the episode with them arriving at wherever the map's pointing to or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, loved everybody in live action. I think they did a great job. Uh, Lothal, uh, the ship, everybody, great stuff. Correct me or help me, you know, correct my memory. Um, Ahsoka said that, you know, when, when Sabine asked, you know, where, where do you live now or what do you call home? And she kind of looked around and said, you know, the ship serves me well. When Mando found her in the forest, the burnt forest, in that episode in Mando season two, was she in this ship? I didn't think it was. I didn't remember anybody online saying, oh my God, it's, 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 I don't know the name of the ship, but it's that ship. I, it was a different ship. I guess it was a different ship, but maybe it was like a shuttle or something. And, uh, and this was, you know, something that was just, she was just using for local transport or something. I don't know. Um, Elspeth being a night sister, 
there were people speculating about that because in one of the scenes in the trailer, she's using her hand. And there's a little bit of like green magic, green glowy thing. Uh, and that's what the, the night sisters use. So I think that's cool that she's a night sister. Um, yeah. What else? Um, that was just a fun watch, guys. I, I may not have commented too much during it because I just really enjoyed watching it. I had to remind myself, hey, I got to say something about this because uh, I just really enjoyed watching it. And, and I'm going to go back and watch it again, but not now. First, I'm going to watch episode two. Um, so join me for episode two. Uh, it'll be coming out sometime soon after episode one. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments, by the way, what you thought of it. And uh, um, if you think Ezra's alive, I guess that's a big question. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.